Hi, boys and girls. This next story is a story that helps us remember that sometimes the things that make us the most fearful, the things that we're most afraid of, are oftentimes the things that help us grow the most. I love this story. It's beautifully illustrated, and it's on my faith playlist because at the end there are a few Bible scriptures that you can go through with your family at home. So I I hope you enjoy this as much as I do. It's uh, titled, The Seed Who Is Afraid to Be Planted. It's actually been endorsed by the National uh, Day of Prayer Committee, and it's written by Anthony DeStefano and illustrated by Erwin Madrid. A a reminder for us all that uh, things that make us feel frightened oftentimes bring about the most beautiful growth. The seed who was afraid to be planted. There once was a seed who lived in a drawer in a room of a mansion by a beautiful shore. The drawer was filled up with seeds of all kinds for bushes and trees and flowering vines. The seed was quite happy and had lots to do. The drawer was quite pretty and painted bright blue. Cozy and warm, the seed felt secure. The drawer was a playground, of this he was sure. But all was not well. The seed was afraid that he would be taken and planted one day. The mansion, you see, was owned by a man whose hobby was gardening and tending his land. The man sometimes took a seed from the drawer, and no one would see that seed anymore. The seed was so scared there might come a day the man would reach down and take him away. The thought was just awful and hard to believe. He couldn't imagine that he'd have to leave. Then one dark day, the drawer opened wide. The seed saw a hand reach down from outside. He tried to escape, he begged and he cried, but there was no place to run or to hide. The hand clasped about him. The seed shook with fear. He yelled to the man, don't take me from here. Outside in the garden, the seed looked around. He saw, to his horror, a hole in the ground. A hole in the ground? Oh, no, it can't be. I want to go back to my drawer. Can't you see? I'm scared to be planted. I want to be free. I'm in so much pain and such agony. The man was just silent. He made not a sound. He just smiled softly and put the seed down. The sky was deep purple. The seed said a prayer. The man stood above him and buried him there. He started to moan. He started to groan. He felt so abandoned, forsaken, alone, tired and frightened. He started to weep, but soon closed his eyes and fell fast asleep. All covered with dirt, he dreamed he would die, but then all at once in the blink of an eye, something took place there in that hole to the seed's weary body and terrified soul. He started to change. He started to glow. The little seed stretched and started to grow. What can be happening? The little seed cried. What is this feeling I have deep inside? His body expanded. He swelled and he grew. He rose in the dirt till his head wiggled through. Once through the soil, 
he saw a great light. The sun in the sky was dazzlingly bright. Slowly but surely, the seed was aware of rising and climbing up into the air. At last, the seed realized, at last he could see. He was really and truly becoming a tree. Higher and higher the little tree went. Into the heavens he made his ascent. Suddenly branches sprang from his side. Hundreds and hundreds of leaves multiplied. The branches grew nuts and fruits that hung down. They swayed in the breeze and covered the ground. Then filling the air with fragrant perfumes, the tree sprouted flowers and blossoms and blooms. Then birds began building nests for their young, joyfully flapping their wings as they sung. In the tree's branches, the baby birds napped, while woodpeckers pecked at his bark full of sap. Cardinals and blue jays flew from above. They played with the eagles and owls and doves. Squirrels and rabbits began to appear. Beautiful butterflies came flying near. The tree was amazed. He looked at the scene. The sky was so blue. The garden so green. Mountains and vineyards and cities he saw. Millions of mansions looked over the shore. The tree was so thankful and heavy with fruit, he bowed to the man in humble salute. The man stood below, a smile on his face. His children were running all over the place. They climbed up the tree. They swung from his vines. They seemed to be having the happiest time. The garden was sunlit. The tree was aware of laughter and music and life everywhere. Life in the garden, life on the shore, so much more life than he had in the drawer. A breeze stirred his leaves, a wind howled through, the tree understood that all things were new. The tree understood that he had been freed. He barely remembered when he was a seed. He barely remembered his life in the drawer. His fears disappeared and returned never more. The end. These are four wonderful verses from the, from the Bible. One from the book of Genesis, one from the book of John, and two from the book of Matthew. So go ahead and grab your Bibles and someone in your family or from your Sunday school class and go ahead and open to these and talk about the messages hidden within that beautiful rhyming imagery filled story we just shared together and be thankful be thankful that the most adverse things that we go through the most difficult things that we go through most oftentimes will bring around the most beautiful growth the seed who was afraid to be planted that's the end of that story i hope you enjoyed it as much as i did until next time